G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel, I'm Josh. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your hands to work out some of the times tables, specifically the times tables involving the sixes, the sevens, the eights, the nines and the tens, which I reckon is pretty good because these, in my experience, are the ones that people who are first working on their times tables struggle with the most. Bit of a full disclosure here. I also got my own kids using this trick when they were learning their times tables, mainly because I was struggling with a couple of things like seven times eight. What I recommend is this is awesome for getting somebody to work it out and feel a bit confident in what they're doing. Long term, go through and learn those times tables. It makes life a whole bunch easier in the long run. Anyway, this is the way this works. So we have our left hand here and our right hand here with the thumbs pointing inwards. You'll notice that I'm not using my real hands. because My hands aren't very photogenic. So what we're going to do is starting at the thumbs on each hand, we're going to number from six. So the thumb is six and then moving outwards, seven, eight, nine, 10. And on the right hand, we have them the thumb, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now, the way that we do this trick, uh, say we want to multiply the following number, seven multiplied by eight, seven times eight. We'll see what that equals. What you would do is you would locate the seventh finger, six, seven, that second finger along, and the eighth finger on the right hand, six, seven, eight, that third finger along. Now what you do is touch these fingers together. So touch that seven finger with the eight finger there. And if you do, you're gonna find you bunch all of these fingers together. So why don't you do that and give it a five. Now go through and count how many fingers are bunched up. We have one, two, three, four, five. So the first part of our answer is a five. To get the final part of our answer, the last part of our answer, really easy. As you'll see now, the numbers that aren't bunched up, we have three fingers here and two fingers on the left hand side, we just multiply these. So three times two is equal to six, there's our answer. Seven times eight is equal to 56. That's pretty cool, right? Hey, you say, does this work for all times tables, six, seven, eights, nines, and tens? Well, let's have a look at another example. So what about we have a look at six multiplied by nine? Okay, so once again, you'd count through those fingers. The six finger is that thumb, and then you count through the other one. So on the left hand, it's the thumb there is the six, multiplied by the nine. So six, seven, eight, nine, it's that fourth finger along. So now you touch these guys together, and by doing so, you'd bunch all these fingers in as a group. Now count the number in that bunch, the number of fingers in that bunch, one, two, three, four, five. So the first part of our answer has a five in it. Now the fingers that aren't bunched up, we have four on the left hand here, and one on the right hand here. So four times one, pretty easy, that's equal to four. Six times nine is equal to 54. And all you really need to do to get this all the time is to permanently write those numbers on your fingers or possibly get a tattoo. You'll never need to carry a calculator around ever again. But if you do like this trick, please remember, hit the like button and subscribe. What about I give you one more example? So why don't we have a go at eight multiplied by six and see what that equals. In fact, if you're feeling brave enough and you think you got the hang of this, why don't you pause the video and give this a go and then we'll come back and have a look at the answer here. So first off on the left hand side, we have an eight. So six, seven, eight, that is the third finger along. And on the right hand, we have the very first finger there, the thumb, which is the six. So go through and bunch these guys together and that gives us the first part of our answer, right? One, two, three, four, our answer is 40 something. Now looking at the other fingers there, we have two fingers on the left hand and we have four fingers on the right hand. Two times four, it's equal to eight. 8 times 6 is equal to 48. That's a pretty cool trick, right? And hopefully, as I said, you've got the hang of those. It's a really, really great trick, especially for those guys who are struggling with their times tables. So I hope you found it handy. Remember, get those numbers permanently written on your fingers and you'll be okay. Please remember, if you like this trick, hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want to support my channel, there's a bunch of links in the description below. Maybe you decide just to subscribe. Maybe you go as far as becoming a patron. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.